So I've had a couple of people ask about pivot tables and, and being able to work with them a little bit. And they're, and they're really basic, easy, because in 2010, they already have like a pivot table routine created. So if we wanted to go in here and create a pivot table out of this information, I can basically just select everything, highlight it just like I was going to build a graph, click on insert, and now there's a new pivot table button. So if I select pivot table, you'll see where it's going to bring up the range that we were working with. Uh, typically, it's the highlighted range. If you didn't highlight it, you can go ahead and highlight it right now. And then you have the option of where you want the pivot table report to be placed. Um, for this, I'm just going to put it on a new worksheet, but if you'd like your pivot table to be appear in the same workbook, you can do that. So when you do this, you're brought into a pivot table wizard, per se. So on the pivot table wizard, you can select what fields you want to include. If I do location, name, and sales, and it'll automatically build out my pivot table. So if I want to adjust items in here, now I can click the row label, and I only want to show Aurora. I can click OK, and it'll just show Aurora. If I want to show Barrington and Bolingbrook, it'll bring all those up. Cool, makes sense. Um, but I want a graphical representation of this, too. So then, as I'm working with the pivot table, you'll see this new pivot table tabs appear. I want to do a chart based on this pivot table. The chart's really quick and easy. You just click the button, you select the style of the chart, and you're done. So I'm going to do a column chart. I'll click OK. And all the principles that we learned with building charts works the same way with this new pivot table chart, except this chart's dynamic. So now, if I want to remove everybody and only have Aurora, my chart will update at the same time. So as I'm going through here, if I really don't care too much about the information on the left and I just want to look at a graphical representation, I can keep track just based on my pivot table chart I just created. Same kind of process works if I want to move the chart to another table, I can move it over to another worksheet or something like that. Um, if I'm working with my pivot table, you can also do conditional formatting on your pivot table. Um, you have a the same ability to change your data source ranges, um, sort, you know, add and show field buttons. You've got some functionality that you can kind of work with to kind of customize it a little further.